Hi there. Welcome to Craft with Kathy. Tonight, I'm going to do a little project call with a transfer called Hugs and Kisses. Perfect for Valentine's or any time, actually. And I put a little link, um, the cart link, in the comments if you want to see the supplies that were used for this. But this is the Hugs and Kisses transfer. And there's, I'm sorry, yeah, this is the Hugs and Kisses transfer. Here are the corresponding um, chalkable shapes, the XOs. We take them out of here. They come um, 10 in a package, so you get five X's and five O's. These are kind of sweet. And obviously you could use this transfer on these chalkable shapes. You could use it on um, a tag. You could use it on a board and base. You could use this however you want. Remember our transfers are reusable 8 to 12 times or more. So what I did to, to prep a little bit, actually this was going to be tomorrow's project, but whatever, like I said, my day kind of got away with me, got away from me. Oh yeah, right. Oh goodness. <clears throat> Nothing like waking up to in the morning to a bunch of heavy trucks outside with the engines running and it makes everything feel like it's shaking. And then you got an excavator pulling apart part of your yard. It was kind of crazy, crazy town today. But anyway, I painted these wooden tags. They're um, whitewashed and I only did one side so far. I'll probably do both sides. But they're nice little tags. Um... And they can be found on our website. We are in the middle of, um, we just started a new sale as of the first of this month. It's called the, our warehouse sale. So things are greatly reduced and um, they're basically while supplies last. So anyway, a little chip of paint there. I mixed up some shimmer frost and some cherry paste to come up with what I wanted to be like a dark mauve and I think I achieved that. It looks a little bit lighter um, on my laptop than it is. Um, or you could obviously use mauve. So um, depending upon what you want to do, my cart link doesn't have shimmer frost because it's not in the individual packets. But I just use bright white in the cherry to get kind of like a pinky mauve if that's what you're looking for. But obviously, you can do these in any color you would wish, right? It's the fun of crafting. Make it your way. So I'm going to show you what I have, what I'm intending to do for this, um, this little project. I'm thinking actually of just using these as tags with a gift, kind of like an extra little adornment to the gift, if you will, or to the packaging. <clears throat> But I think you could probably also make them into keychains or little door hangers or like little huga door hangers or knob hangers for doorknobs or dresser knobs, things like that. And I think they'll be especially pretty and sweet for Valentine's, but I think they could be used year-round actually. Now I'm not cutting the back of my, I'm not covering, cutting my backing sheet because I'm leaving my backing sheets intact. If you like to cut them, go ahead and cut them, whatever works for you. This is working out pretty good for me because it lets me have the whole sheet, the whole backer sheet in its cellophane envelope when I hang them up. So especially with my larger transfers, I could see at a glance as I'm shuffling through them all the pieces. Otherwise, all my pieces would like, once they're cut apart, they and I'll sit at the bottom of the little cellophane envelope. So this is works. What's work? What works for me? <gasps> My goodness, I can't even talk seriously. This is crazy. So I've painted these, and um, they're dry. They've been sitting here for a bit. I've got my paste that I mixed up, my cherry and my shimmer frost. I'm gonna get my little fuzzing cloth out here and give these this transfer a little fuzz. Diminish the stickiness a little bit. I'm 
This actually would make a really nice project for the chalk newbie. It's rather inexpensive. You Like I said, you get five sets of the X's and O's in the package, and I think they're on special right now for $4. The tags off the top of my head, let me see. Yeah, the, um, the XO Slim Cuts, a 10-pack, are $4. And the tags are six tags, um, a six pack of tags for five dollars. And then the individual pace and a squeegee. Everything's in the cart, um, the cart link. If you want to check it out, you could add and subtract however you want. So I'm going to start with the X here and just line this up on it. Oops. Our transfers are adhesive backed, reusable. They're made out of vinyl, which is the teal, and what you're seeing through to the surface beneath is silk screen. And the only place the adhesive is is where the teal is. So you want to make sure that you have that lined up nice and right so that it sticks. Okay. And I'll put the other one on here. And I'm going to use up my I'm going to use my mixed up color to give a little color to these XO slim cuts. And you want to make sure that you don't have um, an air bubble or anything underneath that. So, grab a squeegee. Now, I watered this down a little bit for when I painted, and it's been sitting here so it's thickened up because I wouldn't want it real runny when I use it on my surface. When I use it as chalk paste, I want it to be a thicker like a normal chalk paste consistency, but when I'm painting, I always use a little distilled water to thin it down so that our paste goes on more like a paint. It kind of glides over, thing, over things real easily. And I love the idea that I could paint with our chalk paste. Remember, it's chalk paste. It is not chalk paint. That's a whole other animal. You do not want to use chalk paint on our transfers because it's too thin. It'll bleed. So I'm smoothing this over. Removing the excess, and then I'm going to lift off. Oh, I need my little detail tool, which I don't have out here. Um, I need something with a little point to kind of hold my surface down while I lift off the transfer without smudging or smearing. Or maybe I could just wiggle it off. Little problem here. Normally, I'll have my detail out and use just the pointy part of it. There we go. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Doesn't that look sweet? I'll just put them on the side till I get a chance to clean them. Cleanup's real easy. You could just use water, like lukewarm water. Oops. Just, I don't remember if I turned on my glue gun or not. I plugged it in, but I don't think I turned it on. Oops, nope, it's on and it's hot. Okay, <laughs> good to know, right? Let me grab the other designs for the XOs here. And I just want to give them a quick fuzz. And basically repeat the process. Slightly different design. Actually, these are so sharp, I think they go nice on even a, a white um, tag. I probably didn't have to color it. And I'm just thinking, I was going to mix that up and lighten it up, and I totally forgot. Um, let me get my brush out of here. Totally forgot to lighten my paste. Let me grab a little stir stick here. And add some shimmer frost to this and make it a little bit lighter. I can't believe I forgot to do that. Too much of a hurry. Well, this is good because then I'll have different. Okay, let me add a little bit of shimmer frost and mix that on up. Make it just a shade or so lighter. 
Just mixing up a small area of it because I really don't need much paste. That'll do it. Let me cl grab a clean squeegee. With that. Oops. Here we go. Anyway, like I said, our warehouse sale is um, mall supplies last, so hop on over there and check things out. We have surfaces, we have transfers, we have embellishments, obviously we have the little slim cuts. Lots of goodies over there for great prices. Not Nothing much better than getting craft supplies on sale, right? Okay. We have a little bit of a lighter color here. This is kind of lightweight, so it's kind of skating away from me a little bit. Just removing the excess. And now I'm doing the O. I want to make sure I have everything covered. Remove the excess. Oops. This one should be easier to lift off because there's more area to hold it down. And then there are a bunch of little flowers to go along with the XO images. So there's four different um, little flower picks there. So there's a lot of variety in this little transfer, actually. And this is also on sale right now. So great for, for Valentine's or actually for any day. I am going to move this over a little bit. And let's see. I don't think this is quite dry, so I'm going to be careful and think about my positioning on here. I'm going to give it a quick little dry with my drying tool, which doesn't quite reach up here. So let me snag this and move it out of the way while I dry it for a second. Oops. So with the new month came a bunch of news. I put together a quick little video that I posted earlier today that basically gives you a little glimpse of um, the color of the month the new Club Couture transfer, our new perks pack for designers, a whole bunch of stuff. So it's the video posted right before this. Um, just kind of a lot of cool stuff going on. I think I'm going to just set it like this. I have to think, do I want the XO that way or do I want the XO this way? Probably like this would be my guess. I don't want my flowers upside down there. Okay. So I'm just going to grab a little hot glue and glue them on. And I've got glue strings here because this has been dripping on me. Got a little glump of glue there. That's not going to work. Okay. Let me take that off and try it again. Just don't want to stick my finger in a puddle, in a little puddle of hot glue. That would not be the best thing to do here. I just want to make sure I have it lined up the proper way. There we go.
So wouldn't these make a nice sweet little tag on a gift or a keychain or whatever else? I think I'm going to do some drawer pulls with them, seriously. They're lightweight enough, and um, I think they would add a little bit of sweetness for Valentine's or for any day, actually. But this set is going on a gift. I don't know, which one do you like the best? The one that's more colored in or the one with more of white? Of course, I've got to move, remove my little blue strings from them when it dries a little bit. But how simple. And I really didn't have to paint the tags if I didn't want to. I could have just gone with them in, in white. Simple, quick, and easy, right? Almost perfect for a Friday in 15. Anyway. I'll probably put some nice either white satin ribbon or jute. I'm leaning towards the white satin ribbon on here to finish them off. But like I said, you get five sets of the XOs in the slim cut package, and you get six of the tags in a package of wood tags, and they're all on special right now, along with the transfer. What a deal, right? Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate your time. I will see you soon.